a messenger from Ragna Ferox. Good. See them in at once. Yes, sir. Your Grace. I come on behalf of Con Regna Flavia. <clears throat> Flavia? Well, this is a surprise. Is something amiss? Right away. I fear so, my lord. The Khan requests your presence at a summit as soon as you're able. Really? What's happened? Yes, my lord. Our western neighbors of Valm are no longer acting so neighborly. The Emperor, who they named the Conqueror, has launched warships against us. What? An invasion? Are you certain of this? Forgive me. Yes, my lord. The Khan hopes to meet with you in Ferox if it pleases you. My lord. What do you make of this, sire? Right. Ill business to be sure. Rimey, we will meet with Flavia at once. Krom. Forgive me. I know what you're thinking, Robin, but we owe Ragna Ferox a great debt. I must apprise myself of the facts there before deciding on a course of action. That was not what I was thinking. I was actually going to suggest with we discuss strategy as we travel. <laughs> but, but Lucina is newly born. She needs her mother now. <sighs> he told me House Ulysse has a tradition of wet nursing. And you and Lissa turned out rather well from where I stand. Lucina is a strong child. She takes after her father. The brand in her left eye proves it. Still... I'm not just worried about her. I'd worry about you as well. Alright. All the more reason to keep me close at hand, no? Together we could be more than we can alone, remember? <laughs> oh, let her come, Krom. You could use her strategic thinking anyway. <sighs> Alright, Robin. Just promise to stay safe. Lissa and I had M, of course, but we lost our parents when we were young. I want Lucina to grow up with her whole family around her. Yeah. As do I. You have my word. My lord. I will ride ahead and assemble an escort, my lord. Mm. Thank you, Frederick. Wow. I'm quite impressed, Krom. You make a fine ruler. You've come a long way from tending sheep. Hi, have I truly changed that much? <laughs> In a way, you haven't. But you've grown as a leader, and of course, as a father. Right. I've tried to do my best. My sister left a weighty legacy. I do all I can just to live up to it. I could not come sooner, Flavia. Hey. What matters is you're here, Krom. You all right? Is it true Valmes warships have set sail? What can you tell us? <sighs> not much more than that, I'm afraid. The details remain hazy. Just a moment. Oh, where are you, you big bald? Krom is here. Oh, well met, my boy. I knew you'd come. We have someone you should hear from. I believe you've met. He claims to have insight into Valm's intentions. Greetings. Good day, lord and ladies. How fare you all? Allow me the great pleasure and indeed honor of introducing myself. What? We all know who you are, Viron. Although I don't believe we've met your companion. Oh. You know nothing. Prepare for my great unmasking. 
Long have I posed and as an archist of archers, yet that was but a ruse. Yea, an artifay to disguise myself as a mere above average man. In truth, I am? Ahem, <laughs> may I present Duke Viron? I am his humble servant, Cherish. Greetings, sire. You honor us. Oh, wait! Cherish, you stole my moment! Listen. A pleasure, Cherish. Perhaps you could speak on your master's behalf? Well... That may speed things along, yes. Good. Then please, time is of the essence. Huh. Very well, then. First, concerning our origins. We hail from Roseanne, a fertile territory on the continent of Valm. My lord is the head of House Viron, and the rightful ruler of Roseanne. Mm -hmm. A fact he often reminds us of, and loudly. My mind. Is she not a true wit? She gets it all from me, you know. Hmm? So what brings a noble on his charge all the way across the Lord Sea? The Valmies, theirs was an unremarkable nation once, tiny, almost pitifully so. Had our continent not shared its name, you might almost have forgotten it existed. And so Val might have remained, if not for Walhard the Conqueror. One by one, he has taken the surrounding realms into his growing empire. I had no choice but to ru uh, that is to rescue new allies to aid my people. That's why I've come. Fled for your life. Oh my. More or less, yes. While my lord hastily gathered his valuables and guided his people out to safety, I alone remained to keep an eye on the Valmy's crisis. I was there as Roseanne was swallowed up by Emperor Walmart's overwhelming forces. In the end, I too fled here to Ragnaferox, seeking asylum. <clears throat> to my great relief, I might add. Eligible women are one of Roseanne's most precious natural resources. It would be a shame to waste any, even one who cuts off her lord and meh. How's that? Ahem, as I was saying. My, my. Yes, yes. Alright, it was only a jape. Please, by all means, you may con- If I may. So, begging your pardons, but perhaps it is time to cut this long story short. Walmart has conquered our continent and now seeks to conquer yours. Right. She claims the Valmese fleet will be at our shores in a matter of days. We will know soon enough if her story proves true. Oh. I speak only what I know for true, good people. As does my lord, at least with respect to this matter. There's that wit of yours again! <laughs> that wonderful, needling, chafing wit. I believe you both. Basilo, we must secure your ports as soon as possible. You should know that Valm has the strongest cavalry in the world. You will want to station troops with experience fighting mounted troops. Why, Viron, are you volunteering? A heck of a lot of stuff sure did happen between these two chapters. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we we successfully retreated from the war against Ulistal and Grangle. Unfortunately, it wasn't a very happy conclusion, but Krom was the next in line to pick his country back up and restore his kingdom to its former glory now that his sister is gone. But he didn't have to do it alone. All of his soldiers, along with his new wife Robin, helped him make it to where he is today. And with a new child as part of our family, it is more lively than ever, I'll say that much. So, depending on what you've done to this point in the game, Krom's wife could actually be a variety of characters. For me, it was set in stone as soon as I reached rank S with Robin. If you reached rank S with Krom and some other female unit up to that point in the game, then he would marry that character instead. Any female character we meet um, from this point onward for the rest of the game 
Krom cannot marry them because Krom needs to be married and Lucina needs to be born at this point in this story. So if you have any future characters that you like later down the line, uh, you'll not be able to uh, ship them with Krom, unfortunately. What's also kind of unfortunate is that first time playing this, I wasn't aware of that feature. And when we get to that scene where Krom is talking to Robin about uh, the fact that he needs to have a bride to help him rule the kingdom and, and all that jazz, that thing will be automatic if you have not reached Russ Ank with anyone. I went ahead and included Robin's uh, communication with him just so, uh, just because I thought it was kind of awkward that they just jump cut to uh, having it be, uh, having them be married and whatnot. I know it was sort of like they already dedicated themselves to each other, so we sort of knew that they were married, but like with Robin specifically, they uh, held off their plans just because they didn't seem appropriate for the time. But for other characters, it might be a bit different. What I'm trying to say is, at that point in the story, that cutscene will pop up and Krom will have a conversation with whichever female unit he is currently closest with. That is solely based on either communication sessions that you had with them or um, just whenever you do battle with certain characters, if you pair them up with certain characters and uh, or have them stare next to other characters, then they end up uh, growing the little heart things like, you know, that ends up happening. So, first time playing this, I unfortunately got Krom shipped with a character that I wasn't planning on shipping him with, sort of against my will, and that character was... Sully. Sully was one of my mainstays in my first playthrough, like I had mentioned before, and I don't know what it what happened, really. I just didn't want to really use her this time around, and uh, the times I was using her, she was kind of not all that useful. But yeah, she was like a powerhouse in my original playthrough, and I just always paired her up with Krom because those were the only two characters that could ever do anything in battle. But as soon as I saw that scene where they got married, it was just so unnatural, and it just seemed really weird because, like, Sully was not really into it at all. She's like, oh, whatever, I guess I'll help you out. It was just really seeming weird. And I don't know, I just didn't like it to the point where I actually reset my sync and save file, and I uh, played back up to this point, uh, trying to be more better with the pair-up systems and all that jazz, and I made sure Krom got married to Robin. So, that's what my life was like first time playing this. I know it's sort of the canon option or the canon pathway to have him marry Sumia. If you remember from the opening cutscene, you see Krom and Sumia holding a baby um, on the balcony or whatever. So, I guess if you want to go canon, then you do that, but I don't know. I kind of prefer Krom and Robin together, so that's why I do that. But now that's taken care of, we could start chapter 4, or chapter 4, wow, that'd be kind of crummy, like 80, whatever, not 80 episodes, however many episodes in, we're only chapter 4, no. Uh, let's see, before we do that though, I just want to walk around here, see if there's any interesting goodies for us to get. We can always just, uh, check out Anne's shop, or Anna, oh, excuse me. On, Unfortunately, we don't get any sort of special perks because we have her sister with us. But oh well, I need to sell some vol- or- Bullions or whatever they're called. Uh, I know I have like a bunch of them. We've been getting a lot of them from other people, so I just wanted to start selling them. If I can find them, they're all in the convoy. Okay. Uh, yep, we got one right here, and then two right here. I think that's about it. We got a dragonstone and a beast stone as well. Good to know. Uh, for buying, do I want any of that? We got a regain box, calls Risen to the World Map, I guess it's just if you want to train, which I might need to do because, oh boy, Olivia did not do very well in the last episode, but I'd really like to use her though. Uh, rescue is kind of good, HP tonic, grants max HP plus 5 for one battle, I don't really like the one battle items. Raises the weapon level of all equipable weapons and staves, that's really cool. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay, pretty much did everything that I wanted to do before heading into chapter 12, except a bunch of other things. Let's go to the Brox. Got a lot of things right here. New events have occurred. What do we get? What, 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 what do you get? We got ourselves a conversation between Alyssa and Tharja. Robin, my hex worked. Uh, I mean, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> hey, how come you're in such a great mood, new haircut? Go away. What do you care how I feel? And now they've grown closer together, somehow. Oh, uh, we got Viron and Noe. 
I have always wondered how people like you feel their days. Oh, I'm always going around talking to people. I love a good story. So their relationship improved, but Lissa and Tharja's didn't. Okay. It's kind of weird. Uh, listen some more. How come you vanish after each battle? Do you have a hobby or whatever? What do you think? I hack together hexes and fish for fools to try them on. Busy. Uh, no relationship with them. Callum just alone as usual. I've been practicing my war cry to get me noticed. I scared away two birds already. I heard him say that. I think I was just... My god, it looks so weird. It's a weird outfit. I don't know. She looks, looks funny. And Krom and Sumia. Hopefully she's not too mad about me tying the knot with someone else. I notice you vanish from the camp sometimes. Where does he go? I make sure everyone is safe and sound. Nothing hurts like losing a comrade. And the relationship improved. Very good. I think we're getting more things in here. I still don't know exactly what the terms of that we get these things, but kind of cool that it just keeps on filling up. Up next, we got supports. Oh, geez, we got a lot. Like, Krom and, Krom and Lissa. Okay. Robin and Frederick have a communication now. Uh, let's see. Frederick, Robin, Longku, and Payne. Uh, Noe and Tharja. Okay. I'm gonna start doing these now. Probably not gonna do them all uh, one after another. I uh, probably don't need to explain this anymore. You get the gist of it. Wow, we're 20 minutes into this recording. We haven't even started the stinking chapter. Krom and Lissa, let's go. <sighs> really? <laughs> I don't know this is funny. She's like, so. And she's like, really? Go on. It's like what I say with my dog when it's young. I was like, oh, Shanti, what do you have to say? Uh, well, what do you say? Well, that was a big one. That's what she huh? said. Oh, Krom. Listen. Something on your mind, or are you just sighing for the sheer joy of it? Well, it's just... Do I... Do I seem like a princess to you? What? Er, uh, how's that? <gasps> I'm asking if I seem like a princess. Right. If you aren't, you owe us some rent for your room in the castle. <laughs> That's a funny line. Hey. Oh, hardy har. That's not what I mean, and you know it. I'm asking if you think I live up to my station. Hmm. What brought this on? When I compare myself to you and Emerine, I I feel like dead weight. Hmm? What a stupid thing to say. What? Hey! <sighs> well, it's the truth. You're just fine just the way you are, Lissa. Give yourself a little credit. I'll see you later. Hey, don't give me a lazy answer and then just run away. I hope you trip on and break your nose, jerk face. Okay, that last bit may not have been the most princess-like. That was a cute conversation. I never saw the one before, so really, like, I'm gonna try and uh, get more conversations maxed out with characters. Like, even though these guys are all maxed out already, I'm not gonna constantly pair them up just for the sake of stat benefits. It'd be cool to just do other pairings just so we could see more conversations, like Robin and Frederick. Shall we then? Your grip, stance, and breathing are wrong. Focus, Robin. Again. That's enough for today. Your form has improved considerably. The pace of your progress is remarkable. <sighs> Thanks. I feel like I've got the basics down now, but so tired. I think I'm dying. Right. <laughs> right, you are dying. You're exaggerating, or at least I pray so. Otherwise, you might as well die here. You won't last long on the battlefield. Jeez, give her a break. She just had a sinking kid. Well, I suppose, but I'm exhausted nonetheless. But you, you've hardly broken a sweat. Really? I should certainly hope not. If a little training wounded me, I certainly would not be in no shape to serve Krom. Whoa. Well, I'm impressed. You must train hard to build such endurance. Well. I awaken before dawn each day to build the campfires. Then, whenever we march, I scout the trail ahead, removing rocks and such. Wouldn't do to have someone turn an ankle mid-campaign, now would it? So that's why. I always thought it was just a fixation with pebble collecting. Yes. Beg pardon, did you say something? No. Eh, nothing important. But I owe you for this training session, so let me help you with tomorrow's fire. It'll be a snap with my magic. Find a tree, hit it with a lightning bolt, and presto! Instant forest fire. Um. Oh, well, yes, I suppose that could happen. 
In any case, I do still owe you a favor. Whatever you like, name it and it's yours. You needn't decide today, of course. Think it over for the next time we meet. Well, I am unaccustomed to asking favors, but if you insist, I shall find something. It's really cool to see how far they've grown together. When they first met, he was super untrusting of her and just kind of treating her poorly, but now look at them. Really amazing how much things change. So, here's the thing. I've been stuck on Long Ku for a while. I've been stuck with deciding who I want to pair him with. I don't know why it's difficult for me, but it is. I was thinking either Pain, Tharja, or a character that we don't have yet, but I thought we did have. Okay, cool. So, I don't know why... I'm so hesitant on it, but part of me wants to switch it up for my original playthrough, but the other part of me is just like, why do I really care to switch it up? What was wrong with that pairing? I guess there really wasn't, but I don't know. I'll hold off on saying, that for, saying what the pairing was for now, and later on I'll just let you know who I end up pairing him with. So for now, let's just see the conversation between him and Pain. I should be safe now. There's no way he could track me out. Hold. You are no ordinary man. Enough of this game. Tell me what you want and leave me be. Get back. Do not come near me. Stay away from you? What do you think I've been trying to do all day, you ignorant man spawn? No. I found this bag. It's full of weeds or something. Right. That's my bag. Right. I know. You dropped it near my camp. Is that why you chased me over the hill and Dale? Why didn't you just tell me? Thanks. Yes, well, when I saw your face, I became paralyzed with fear. And then you fled before I had the chance to explain. This is insulting. Wait, don't forget your weeds. No. I don't want them. Or the bag. They're yours now. Blast! What am I supposed to do with these? I wonder if they taste good. Ugh! A poor idea. Long Ku and Pain attained support level C. Kind of a rough one, but then again, these two are not really one to mingle with other characters. Now for rank B with Noe and Tharja. So, hey. Tharja! Yeah? Oh. So did you do it? Did you find out about my mom and dad? <sighs> yes. Really? So what's the story? Don't hold out on me. Spill those beans. Pretty much. Your mother and father are both doing well. They worry about you all the time and can't wait to see you again. Yes! Oh, that's great! So where are they? I have to go see them. <laughs> they are far, far away, Millie. Too far for you to ever reach them. Yeah, right. If they're beyond the oceans, I could just fly to them. If they're in the deepest forest, I could walk to them. I'm kind of immortal, you know. I've got plenty of time. <sighs> 10,000 years would not be enough. Just be content knowing they're well. Huh? What aren't you telling me? <sighs> Listen. Tharja, just tell me the truth. I'm a grown woman. I could take it. Pretty much. I could not locate your parents. And this means that they've gone to a land so far away, neither of us have ever heard of it? Yeah. Um, well, yes, I suppose it could mean that. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I suppose I won't be seeing them anytime soon, huh? Well, thanks anyway. <sighs> You're, uh, welcome. Kind of a bittersweet communication session, but... Luckily, Noe knows how to keep her spirits up, whether or not she's aware of her tactics, I guess. Before I forget... Items. I want to go ahead and use all these stat boost items right stinking now. Let's see, what do I, what do I want to use? We got a Talesman, which increases resistance. Resistance is... Defense? Uh, let's see, resistance reduces damage from magic attacks. Okay, so that's a good thing to know. You could have, I could have just seen it here this whole time. Strength, 
is physical attack, magic, magic attack obviously, skill is a hit rate and the frequency, so your accuracy, uh, speed uh, is speed, <laughs> luck has various effects, lowers risk of enemy criticals, okay, uh, defense is physical defense and then resistance is magic defense. Good to know. Okay, so increases resistance by two. That's, that's magic defense. I don't know who suffers from low magic defense, though. Uh, let's see. Resistance eight. Resistance five. Robin is five. Uh, Lissa is four. Lissa is Lissa. So I feel like in terms of defense, I should always give stuff to Crom and Robin because their survival is crucial. If they die, then the trapter is over. So I think I'm just going to give it to Robin and call it a day. Um... Or should I... Olivia... So stinking weak. God darn it. You know, I said I really wanted to use you, so... I'm just gonna trust Robin and Crom being beefcakes and... Give you a little extra boost. Uh, it worked, I guess. There was no, like, jingle or anything. And it was just like, burp. Okay, sure. Increases defense by two. Again... Give it to Olivia. Yep, it went to her, but doesn't really show anything fancy. Luck? I don't think I need to give her that. Uh, I'm going to give that to Krom, I guess. Increases luck by two. Oh, we got two of them. Do that. And then the second one. Uh, just people who... Don't want to have die to a critical. I actually got kind of low luck. Frederick has really low luck. I'll give it to him then. Maybe maybe the luck will increase my chances of hearing him say, pick a god and pray. i use that. Speed wing increases speed. Uh, who's got low speed? Robin? Liz has got crazy low speed, but she's a healer, so... Comes with the territory. Uh... uh Surprisingly, Noe had the lowest speed of the group, so I'll give it to her. Uh, secret book increases skill by two. Skill is... Uh, frequency of affects the hit rate, and the, so accuracy and likelihood of critical hits. I'm going to give that to Tharja, because her Nosferatu has very low accuracy, and I'd like it to be able to hit more, so I'm going to give that to her. Spirit Dust raises magic by two. Do I want to give it to Tharja or um, Robin? She has 20, she has 12, so Tharja, I guess. Uh, energy drop is strength, physical attack. Olivia, Fooey. three attack, my god, Olivia. I know she's level one, but still. Anna's level one, look at her. Hmm. Again, probably not the greatest idea, but just trying to help her level up more. Now for the Master Seal and Second Seal. Robin's level 19. I guess we could just wait for her to get one more level and then we'll give her an upgrade. I think we'll... Have her hold on to a master seal just so we could be prepared for that. Other characters that are getting close to that long coup. Question is, do I want to give them a different class entirely, or uh, do I want to just upgrade his swordsman status? I have no idea. I'd probably want to upgrade, just upgrade his sword status, so I will have him take the other master seal we have. As for a second seal, that's going to probably go to Olivia eventually, but that's so far off, so I don't even think I need to worry about that. Alyssa, on the other hand... I could change her status now, right? No, I can't. Well, actually, wait, I need to first get rid of something. I'll store that in the convoy. 
and then I'll just have this take it out, I guess. I would like to change Lissa's class eventually, but she's level 4 though, so I pretty much have to do off-screen training at some point, which I've been really trying to avoid, but uh, I guess can't avoid it forever. 34 minutes into this recording, and we have not started this sinking chapter. Oh, sinking dip. I don't know what this LP is going to be like, but I guess we'll see. Time to start chapter 12. Let's go. Okay, not even an introductory, like, cutscene or anything like that. Sure. Uh, who's missing? I definitely want to use Anna and Olivia, so... Who am I getting rid of? Gaius? I think it might be time to say goodbye to Gaius, because we already have a thief character in Anna, and I like her a lot more, so... Goodbye, Gaius. We knew you well, sort of. Olivia, though. Darn it, Bobby. I like all these characters. Sumia, god darn it. Who do I use? Me or Cordelia in this Let's Play is sort of what it comes down to. I'm gonna get rid of Cordelia for now. Hopefully I won't regret it. We'll see. And then look at the map. Just got a bunch of bunch of armored units, my god. Oh, jeez. So many stinking dudes. Like, these maps get crazy as time goes on. Oh, boy. I think we're pretty good. We're close together and all that jazz, so let's just get things started. You dare board our ship, worm! I will not discuss terms with a peasant. I will issue demands to all. Citizens, soldiers, hear my words! The Conqueror himself, Emperor Walmart, Claims, claims dominion over these lands. You will grant your new emperor your ships. You will grant him all your prov provender, sure. You will grant him your loyalty and your every possession. And you will surrender this land's greatest treasure, the Fire Emblem. Do this and your lives will be spared. Resist and your lives are forfeit. Now kneel and swear fealty to the mighty Valmes Empire. But if you take all that we have, how are we to make our living? Without food and ships, people will starve. Would you have us all die? You'll do for now. No, my favorite Smash character. These savages will never listen to reason. Everyone, prepare to engage. My lord. Are you certain? Another war. I've had time to ponder Ulysses' place in the world, Frederick, and my own. We must stand against evil in all of its forms, or there can be no peace. If I may... Might I join, sire? This may not be my country, but it is my cause. My dear Minerva here hungers for a bite of the action as well. Cherish is joining the party, which is very, very cool, because she was actually the character I was talking about when I was uh, talking about who I wanted Long Ku to be with at the end of this, so I'm stuck between Cherish... Pain and Tharja. Both, all three of them have really good stories, but I'm not sure which one I want to inevitably go with. Uh, but Cherish is another character in which I didn't really use her in my original playthrough, and I'd like to change that. I don't know why. I just, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but I just like the sound of it and the way I pronounce it and whatnot. Uh, I know she looks very similar to Cordelia, so that's sort of why I uh, went with the decision to get rid of her. And as you can see, she does not ride any sort of Pegasus. She rides a stinking Wyvern. Its name is Minerva, which is a reference to a character from uh, an older Fire Emblem game, which I don't know the name of off the top of my head because I am a filthy Fire Emblem casual trash who only got into the series when Awakening came out. So I'm, I'm not a good fan, apparently, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, she's a reference to that character. Those of you who played Fire Emblem Heroes probably know who, you, who she's talking about. But... Yeah, I now that we have her with us, what do I want to do? She's an axe user, which is really cool. Um, Olivia, my god, Olivia, it's going to be such a pain in the butt trying to raise you up. So, Alyssa, I'm going to try to continue on with Alyssa and Robin pair up for now. Uh, Krom? 
I... Hmm. I don't really know. Let's see. Anna... Lunku. Lunku, how about you go with... Cherish? Cherish or Pain? I'll put her with... Put him with... Cherish for now. Pain will pair you up. You're with Libra as well, so we're gonna do that for now. Frederick and Sumia, maybe? Kinda wanna finish up the Tharja and Noe story, so I'll pair the two of them up. Krom and Sumia, maybe? Anna and Olivia. Huh. Guess we'll go for it. She has an iron sword. I don't even have anything better for her. Is she compatible with the killing edge? Let me see real quick. I, can, I know I should have done this before, but she's not compatible. Let's trick. She's not compatible with a steel sword either? She's not compatible. I just wanted to see like if that's how it worked, but yeah, she's not compatible with a steel sword. Oy. Okay, I guess that's it. And then Krom and Sumia, do your thing. Got our pairings. Let's see what we could do with them. Oh, what the fruit? How did this happen? Okay, cool. I was like, oh, 69. I was like, what What happened to the map layout? Like, when you start pressing buttons, like, doing a little exploration around the thing, sometimes you find cool things, but then other times you're like, oh, God, what the heck? I don't even understand how I got here. Uh, that's pretty decent. And or Olivia can't do any damage to armored units, which is great. Uh, uh what the, what the... Oh yeah, we can't even do anything yet, so do that, I guess. Frederick's not paired up with anyone yet? What? Oh, Frederick, buddy. I'm sorry. Well, in that case, I'm going to have you go be close with these guys. Just going to basically just start doing things. Dodge that, and we're good. Put Frederick over here just so they could do that. Uh, I guess uh, just a bit of a heads up. I don't know if I mentioned this before when we got Anna, but... God, that's a lot of damage to Frederick, though. Uh, I don't want to do it. That's all the way down to zero. Magic units are really good against armored units. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this uh, uh, before when we first got Anna, but... Anna does not have a lot of good connections with any character. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, there's like little to no characters in the game that she actually has communication segments with. I think Robin is the only one. Oh god darn it, I was so hopeful. Uh, but yeah, I think Robin is the only one that you could ship her with. And then as far as other conversations, I think there's one other character she could have communication sessions with. But other than that, she's just sort of on her own. So she's really weird in that aspect. So maybe it wouldn't have been a good idea to pair up with Olivia because there's not going to be any benefit for that. Uh, but whatever, we're going to... Uh, no, he could attack from a distance, just not as powerful. Eh, uh, sure, we'll do it. Gonna go ahead and power her up. Very, very nice. And, oh, Tharja jumped in and finished the job. Double level up, or not double level up, but... Uh, double experience boost. Wish that could happen with Alyssa, but I think she'll only get experience if she jumps in to defend a character that she's paired up with which is completely random possibilities so so it's not really good to rely on that switch and wait and then you guys uh you can go over there i guess and we'll wait it out should i have chairs chairs level 12 when you get her that's pretty cool i'll have a coup in front just because i want him to reach max level soon so we'll see see what we can do with him 
And yeah, um, again, sorry, sorry, I end up repeating things because it's been a while since I record. No, this is killing edge broke. Oh Jesus. Oh, does he have another one? He doesn't. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. No, 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 no. I know Anna has a killing edge, but I want her to have that for herself. Okay, do that. You can't go to the convoy during battles, I don't think. Oh, jeez, I should have prepared. Why don't I ever prepare for things? Uh, so yeah, as I was saying before, um, I don't even remember what I was saying before. Okay, that conversation's just gone. This is a great second episode. It took 34 minutes just to get stuff started. And then, just everything falling down the commentary drain. I'm recording this, like, I don't know if I talked about the Kingdom Hearts Marathon that I was doing on Twitch, but, um, I finally finished it, so I'm ready for 3 to come out. Hoorah! Other things that I'm working on, I'm just kind of want to wrap this up, though we're not anywhere near, like, halfway done with the game, so I guess I'll just go at my own pace. I was sort of, like, trying to look at the scheduling and what uh, stuff is going to be released. I think I'm going to have, for the rest of Year 7, I'm going to aim to have just one LP a month. Not that every LP planned for the rest of Year 7 is going to fill up 31 days or whatever, but that's sort of how many, how much time I have available to me, and it would allow me kind of time to take breaks and work on editing and whatnot. Hopefully it all works out. I really hope it does. In case you're wondering, uh, increase beast stone. I got a beast stone skill, whatever that means. Uh, but yeah, what I was trying to say is, I really hope that... Not, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm recording this uh, right after I filmed episode 3 of The Walking Dead, the final season, in case you want ideas to when this stuff is being filmed. Oh boy, I was really worried that that game would drop in quality because of the company change and whatnot. Thank you. Because of, like lack of resources or time or whatever when switching over. But it was stinking phenomenal. Even if there was a change in quality, it really didn't seem like it because it was just amazing. And Krom's at 10 HP, that's really stinking bad. I gotta get Lissa over there and heal him. Hey, Lissa, you could actually heal someone. Who would have thought the day would ever come? My god, everyone's just going for Krom. Okay! If one more person goes to Krom, this battle's over. I should be more careful. Okay, Sumi gets a level up, but can you guys not attack Krom anymore? Got two more dudes. Oh, no, 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 no. Krom, you gotta dodge it. You gotta dodge it. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and I just realized. Oh, wait a minute. No, Krom is dead. Please tell me there's a thing that lets me restart from the battle, not like restart from last save point. No, because I just did all that, that 34 minutes of prep work. I got to do that all over again. No. What if I say no? It takes me to the title screen. No. No! Ugh. Cutting away. Good. Okay, trying this again. Let's see, I did some different pairings and different uh, item distribution. Let's see how that fares. It fares poorly, apparently. Well, Libra's down, which means Olivia's gonna go down in five seconds after the fact, probably. A new record! Uh, I might have to reevaluate whether or not I actually want to use Olivia. Either they just have a really epic off screen training or whatever. Okay, that was the only level up was for Libra, and now he's dead. Cool. So, what do we do now? I don't even know what these pairings are, honestly. Just a lot of weird mishmash nonsense, but Cherish seems to have offended well for herself. Uh, let's go and switch to Lissa, heal Anna. Really just sort of focusing on leveling up Lissa. As slow as it may take. Uh, it's gonna take all the way up to level 10. Like, you don't need to go to level 20, but it's recommended in order to get the best stats. But, oh god, it's taking forever. I just want to get her to level 10 and then I'll switch her around. Uh, Anna, I will so... What am I doing right now? So hurt? No. Uh, with the other guys, where are they? Pain? Okay, I didn't get that skill yet that I got with her last attempt. 
Uh, stand right here for Crom and Frederick. You never seem bored, do you? How do you spend your rainy days? If I'm not napping, I'm swinging a sword. Predictable, I know. Such riveting commentary. Uh, not quite. Yes. Yes. Well, this guy's almost dead, so... Just finish off this guy's at full HP. Okay. Hopefully this turns out a lot better. It was just a matter of keeping Crom in the back and whatnot. So I didn't give Olivia any of the increased items, because if I don't end up using her, then I probably don't want to make her too OP, or like giving her all those good items, so I gave them to other characters instead. Hopefully that's okay with all y'all. Hmm, what should I do now? So let's switch to Noe. Have Anna. Can't do a whole lot with any of these characters. That's probably our best bet. Let's go for it. Okay. 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 Almost to a level up, not quite. Uh, I wound up giving Anna... Uh, I, went, I gave Longku Anna's Killing Edge just because... As much as I want Anna to have that as well, I'd rather Longku have a weapon, period. So, I thought that was the better option. And uh, I just don't like... Once you have... Once you go uh, one round with a Killing Edge, you don't ever want to go back, so... Uh, well, it's all the same, so... I'm paired up with Longku right now. Uh, let's see, what is it? If I switch around, he can't KO them. Cool. Uh, what about over here? That goes to zero. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Defend. Very nice. Back and stuff. Okay, defending does not give experience to the one who defended. Okay, so. It's gonna make it even more difficult to level up Alyssa! Hooray! Speaking of making it really difficult to level up Alyssa... Oh wow, you guys are really big stinking jerks! Oy. So, this is when the difficulty really starts to spike up. As you can see, even though I'm on easy mode. I know it's, she was a healer, so it's sort of inevitable for her to die if she's out in the open, but... Oy. Okay, I promise I will do an off-screen training montage some point in this LP. Maybe bet maybe between this episode and the next one. Uh, it's 6 o'clock right now. I'm actually waiting for Ares to come back because uh, she was on a trip and I've been alone this whole week and it made me very sad. I probably should have spent that time recording, but I was uh, starting classes and whatnot. I don't enjoy a stinking four-day schedule from 9 to 1 every single day. It reminds me too much of, like, high school and regular school and stuff. Like, I have to get up at 6 just so I could go in the shower at, like, 6.30 and then I'll shower till 7.30. Yes, I shower for an hour because I fall asleep in the shower because I'm weird like that. And then it takes till 8.30 for my hair to turn back to normal and for, like, uh, my singing eyes to stop being red because they're, like, beat red when we, they come out of the shower. And then, um, I'm at the school at 9. And then I'm there from 9 to 1. So, you gotta get up to 6, just shower at 7, so you can get your hair dry at 8, so you can be at the school by 9. Uh, it's really stinking annoying that it takes that stinking long, but... Them's the breaks, it's so hard to be so beautiful! No. To whatever. Uh, Longku, you're, you're in the back, okay. I was wondering what weapon he had with him. I think he does have a regular sword with him still that he might have equipped, because it was just front in line. But he's not our head attacker, so it's not uh, too detrimental at the moment. Uh, Cherish is just stinking amazing. I don't know why I didn't keep her on my team before. So, yeah, another reason I said this before why I chose to switch Cordelia out. I really like Cordelia's character. I was considering keeping her on my team a bit longer, but they look very similar, Cherish and Cordelia. They got similar names, sort of, just starting with C's, and then they're both flyers, and they're both, like, pink hair and stuff. It's really stinking confusing but whatever uh, right. they're going to continue on with this attack barrage oh, I'm always still stinking hopeful as soon as I see the the shine of light and I'm like oh he's gonna say it and he doesn't say it no uh, but now Robin's alone so I could oh wait no Anna died so I can't pair up with Anna god diggity darn it okay that guy goes so many singing enemies of course, Frederick is just going to decimate all of them. We'll do that and that. Very, very good. 
bit a bit a bit a bit a bit I wish there was a stinking attack that healers could use. In Fire Emblem Echoes, I'm pretty sure there is, but not in this game, so it makes me really annoying to level up healers. Or maybe it was just like some sort of statue, I can't remember, but like I remember Oh, uh, what's her name? Jenny. She was like kinda weak when you first got her, but then like she was the strongest thing in character and like murdered everyone the first attack and everything like that, so I need to get one of those items, whatever it was, but I don't think it's in this game, so that's kind of lame. Uh, there you go. No damage for Frederick, though I doubt he was in any real danger to begin with. Uh, can you guys reach up there? You can't. Lanku is, or paints paired up with Sumia. That's a weird combination, but okay. Robin is alone. I mean, that's never really a good thing. No one really pair up with, though, because there's no free units. Uh, let's do... Can I get rid of you this turn? Yes, I can. How about... We'll do... It just depends on where I want them to be. Okay, so distance didn't really matter, so she's gonna get her with the counterattack anyway? That's weird. Oh, wait, because he has a javelin, I see him. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Okay, well, Noe made sure she didn't get countered. And they both get level ups. I think it's the first time we've seen that before. And then for Noe, we get even more stats. Hoorah! Go over here now for Robin, so she can be next to someone, so she can get some sort of stat boost. Uh, I guess that's as good as we're gonna get. Let's go! Oh, she said the thing! Oh my god! 69! And another 69! Oh, Robin, you don't need any sort of partner. You got the double 69 prodigy attack on your side. Or whatever. Uh, do I want to go over here or make progress? If I go over here, though, every one of them is going to go after me, so let's wait it out a bit. And especially since Krom's in this group, so... Not like we have a healer or anything like that anymore, but... Whatevs. I must admit, I've outdone myself. Good for you, Frederick. Got a second seal. Got a master seal and a second seal in this uh, turn, which is really cool. Robin is what level right now? It's a level 19. Uh, she's very, very close to uh, Max. Max, you know, she's got 16 experience, so uh, we'll be able to upgrade her soon. You can actually upgrade characters in battle, which is really cool, so. Uh, maybe there's some strategies that you could tie into that, or it's just like, you don't want to wait till next battle to upgrade your character, then you can do it now. Sometimes it may actually be outright required, because like your enemies are way too strong, then you'll have to upgrade them in the battle so you could actually win. But I wouldn't know anything about that, would I? <laughs> we'll get to that story in the future. Okay, Cherish is just kicking stinking butt. I'm really liking her, so uh, I guess we'll be using her uh, more and more throughout this game. Some sparkly over there. Who else are we? Just pain and uh, what's his face, Libra. I'm just gonna run over here so I can encourage this guy to attack us instead. Oh, dip. Oh no, it's an archer. God darn it. Oh, Cherish, you were doing so well. Uh, that's kind of crummy. She'll still join us. Don't worry about that. But God darn it. Why'd you go and heal like that? Ugh. Uh, seven. Uh, Sumi. I thought it was Libra. Oh, Libra died. I forgot about that. Whoopsie doopsie. Stick the booty in the air. Wave it like you just don't care. And, yes, thank you for dodging. And there you go. Your beast stone broke! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, God. Oh, no. Um, trade, transfer, god darn it, I can't switch pain over, she's gonna take the attack, god darn it, uh, that's unfortunate, oh come on, stinking Frederick, you could've given me something happy, something to be excited over, 
and where I need it most, but nah. Just taunting me now. I was just like, I always go sound. I was like, oh, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. Uh, let's see. Lanku is Lanku's alone. Oh, yeah, because Cherish died. Uh, I could pair him up with Robin if I wanted to. Do I want to? Eh, pairing up is always good, so we'll do it. Uh, I will do this. Wait, no. Do I want to do that? Switch to Noe. Neither of you could KO in one hit? God darn it. Uh, we'll do that, I guess. You're not alone. Thank you for dodging, and we're good. It's a very mismatch. Okay, there you go. So, max level for Robin. Now it's very... Hmm, I don't feel very different. <laughs> it's very important that we do not let her attack any other characters because that'll be waste experience. So I would have liked it if uh, they could take this character out in one hit, but that's not happening. I could bank on a critical maybe. Oh, and I just realized that you can press X to switch your weapon right here and now. Instead of having to go into your menu and switch it. That's convenient. Uh, that's low percentage for hitting. Let's risk it. I know 89% doesn't seem very low, but in the land of Fire Emblem, anything that isn't stink... There you go. Anything that isn't 100 is considered low. I don't know why it is like that, but don't trust it. It's not like Pokemon where it makes sense. It's like, oh, 90%? Uh, pretty good chance of it hitting. It's like, oh, he's 50-50 or something like that, if not less. Uh, pain's going to be in a lot of pain. Let's uh, go do that. Do that, do that, do that. Wow, a wombo combo. Because these two go way back, so they could go ahead and whip those attacks out. No problem. Silver sword, expensive, but extremely powerful. Well, we got it for free. I'll put that away for now. That might be good for Anna. She likes expensive things. Uh, we'll see. Oh, 74%. She's not going to hit with this. No way. Thank you for dodging. Oh, okay, you did it. And she healed for it. Thank you. That was very weird. I was like, thank you. I'm a robot. Uh, first things first. Uh, go over here. Use an item. Your master seal. I want to keep Robin as a tactician and a mage, so we're going to be upgrading her to a Grand Master. Class change! Like the new dreads, Robin? And liking that stat boost, time to start building up some experience. Yep, back to level one, but her stats are no joke. Uh, but, and I can't attack Gray. Um, wasn't expecting that actually, but whatever. Switch to L Thunder so I could actually hit this guy. I could actually have a chance of hitting this guy. Uh, there you go. Finish that guy off. And let's see. Pain. Oh, jeez. And you can't go into the convoy. Oh, you can't go into the convoy. What the heck am I saying? God darn it. I am the worst Fire Emblem player of all sinking time. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about anything. Go ahead and attack this dude. That's kind of unfortunate about uh, Pain and Noe. I feel like I might have said this, but if I did, I apologize for repeating myself, but it's been, been a while. This is why I need to record everything in one sitting, because otherwise I forget every single thing I did and didn't say. Uh, but yeah, like, with Pain and Noe, they can no longer use their Beast Stone and uh, Dragon Stone when you upgrade their class or if you change their class, which is really singing lame. Like, they're still that species. They should be able to use it, but they just aren't able to, which is really lame. So part of me doesn't want to upgrade them, but I know it would be very beneficial. And I guess we'll see if we even have the opportunity to, because there are a bunch of other characters that I want to upgrade. Okay. There we go for Tharja. I can feel the darkness growing ever stronger. Cool beans. Next is this dude. 
Throws that, does one whole damage. And there we go. Just kicking major butt right now. Characters that stay behind, like, they are really good, just that I need to get better with the pairings and just get ready for get better at handling counterattacks, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, just these four groups is all that's left. Uh I wanna grab this, but we're gonna have to wait a while. Uh, is there one on this side? Yeah, there's a bunch of dudes on this side. Uh, we'll do that, I guess. Her. Pain could take him out one hit. That's awesome. Uh, I guess we'll do it. Uh, I should have gone, like, the back end just so we'd have less spaces to walk. I'm going onto the ship. Too late. That, that, and that. There we go. It was your time. It was your time. Go over here. Uh, I don't want to go too high up because the boss is right there. I don't know if he'll move. Uh, hello. Going right for Tharja. Can you not kill her, please? I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, still two damage. Uh, very close to a level up. And they're just coming on out. Oh, Lord, they're coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. And that's really unfortunate. Ow, oh, that hurts. I've got to pull back. No, oh, forget this insult. Well then, this has been a buttload of fun, hasn't it? Okay, Noe, what do you got? You're good against javelins? No damage. All right, I have no doubt that she'll be able to handle herself. Just that I wish she was getting stat boosts with the character still. Thank you, Krom. Yeah, he said it! Oh, Frederick, you always know when I need you most, which is all the time, but oh, I knew I could count on you. I love when he says the line, so great. It's all right. I don't know, did I give Frederick the increase in uh, luck stat just so I could hear him say that more often? I might have actually done that. You are nothing, a speck of sand on the boots of the Great Empire! Whatever you want to say, Dalton, you're a lot more cool in One Piece when you're a good guy and did cool stuff. Now you're just a weird Fire Emblem villain. And he's dead in what? You were dead in the counterattack? Okay, sure. Wow, that was a pathetic excuse for a boss, considering how difficult this chapter was, with like all this thing in death and losing all these characters. The boss was a stinking joke. Got a bunch of money. Uh, I got two more characters. Oh, you know, two, uh, three more enemies you gotta get rid of. Uh, but first, what is this treasure? Actually, uh, let's put Noe on that. It is a weapon proficiency. Okay. Cause I know no way of knowing. No way of knowing. Oh, uh, whatever. I can't reach. Hmm. I'm gonna switch to Longku just for safety purposes. And we will take them on. It's for you guys. I'll do that. And then we'll just have uh, Frederick come in from behind, and then we'll just finish them all off with the counterattack. Okay. Well, it was a very rough battle, that's for sure, but we came out just fine, sorta, of, kinda. Uh, nothing on the ship, just want to make sure. And, yeah, I guess if you want to come fight us, then come and fight us. Switch to Kron just for safety, and we're good. Now, let's see. We got Noe and Long Koob teamed up. A very awkward duo. One's all business, one's kind of... Oh, jeez. Not all oh, jeez, but you know what I mean. I was not expecting that much damage. Uh, Noe. Uh, who's next? Long Koob. Okay, thank you. Uh, up close to personal, so he'll be able to counter. Okay. Good old killing edge. That's why I always like using it. Who dies next? And we'll, oh, he's going for pain, so we can't quite get it. Okay, we'll beat you on our turn then. Didn't quite have things set up as I would have liked, but whatever. Uh, we'll have Krom finish the scout because Frederick has gotten way too much action in this chapter. Go do that. Very small amount of experience, but whatever. 
Uh, Pain. Do I want Pain or Sumia? Sumia's level 9. Uh, she could go to level 10 if I upgrade her one more time, so... Let's go, switch, and... God darn it, Sumia, why can't you kill anything? Uh, Fooey. Hmm. Taking a risk. Come on, critical hit. Also, this guy, but no, he'll drop a silver lens. All that said, he'll drop a killing edge. It's like, ooh, killing edge, killing edge. Must have. Oh, jeez. Uh, was over for a critical. Oh, but you did get the level up, so I guess I got what I wanted. Okay, might upgrade her off camera or next episode rather. Uh, no, as long as you do damage, you should be good to go, and don't miss. That's also important. Oh, 77%! Jesus Christ, I didn't see how low it was. But it worked, okay, that's a miracle. And a level up for Noe right at the end. And finally, we got a Silver Lance. Pfft. No, we got uh, the final enemy. It's gonna be with Laku. He's level 16. Robin just became a Grandmaster. Yeah, whatever, Laku will do it. He'll do it. I am the best commentator in the universe. This was an episode! And with that, we are finally done. Krom and Frederick are MVPs, most definitely. Krom. Is that all of them? Yes. But victories come with a price. A lot of sinking dead units, but they'll come back in the next chapter, so it's fine. The town is in shambles, as is my army. Right. This is most troubling news. Baroxy soldiers are the finest east of the Long Sea. If they are having trouble, we are all in trouble. That's not the half of it. This was just the vanguard, but a taste of the meal yet to come. Oh, great. And once it arrives, their host will wash over the whole continent in weeks. There's no way we could repel them and defend our people. It would be a slaughter. Right. Ulysses is no better equipped to handle an attack from the sea. Robin, what do you suggest? Hmm. Their greatest strength is their cavalry, which puts us at a disadvantage on land. But if we were to catch them at sea... Really? But how? Ulysses has no warships, nor does Ferox. Alright. So we'd need aid from a kingdom that does. What? You have some place in mind, Oaf? Hold on. Perhaps a land that borders the sea, with enough wealth to afford this campaign? Please, yeah. What? No, absolutely not. Out of the question. Right. They have gold, boy. Countless ships. And more importantly, we have a fart's chance in the wind without them. That's a line. <laughs> the Ove is right. Crude, but right. There's only one path forward. Hey. Krom, will you reconsider? Right. Very well. Send a messenger and request a summit immediately. Let us pray this new king is more reasonable than their last. Right. Indeed. Oh my. You know, Robin, for your first time against Valmy's forces, that was an impressive victory. You and Krom have both grown quite adept. You should be proud. Sure doesn't seem that way, considering how much of a train wreck it was at the beginning, but we made it out nonetheless. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening. We are returning to Plesia, of all places, and we're going to ask for assistance in a new war. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.